everyone, it's Kristen Redman, and today we're going to talk about what's happening for the upcoming week of February 12th through the 18th. And so this week, of course, we have Valentine's Day, right? And I think what's interesting is there's a lot of astrological energy that's out there really trying to make it not only a passionate uh, Valentine's Day, but one where we are really starting to focus on what it is that we want and need in relationship. And then on top of that, what we're going to do to make the necessary changes. Now, this is something that's already been coming to the forefront a lot lately, and we've talked a lot about it, but we're going to talk about it again today, where Pluto has moved into Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is the sign of freedom. It sees where we have limited ourselves in certain areas or comfort zones. And its ruling planet, Uranus, has a way of shaking things up in our lives when we get stuck in these zones, right? Our soul comes here to learn lessons, to make um, to make progress, right? And so one of the major things that we're here to learn as we go through these cycles is that we need to be true to ourselves and authentic to who we are, but we get stuck in these comfort zones and the universe only gives us so many times, I always say, of acting on our own because it sees where staying in those comfort zones isn't congruent with what our soul came here to do, right? We're not really going down the path that we need to, or we're not really stepping into the lesson that we need to. And the way that Uranus works is it will dramatically change things on us unexpectedly, right? And so Aquarius carries that energy too. It's saying, how true and authentic am I being to myself? Am I living the life that is fitting for who I am now, not who I was five years ago or what other people need me to be, but what I want to be, right? Pluto coming into Aquarius is that 250-year cycle where it's transforming and liberating all of us from a personal scale all the way to a global scale. If you want to watch more about that, of course, I've got tons of other videos that are about that. But what we're thinking of, that's the baseline for today, right? And of course, we're in Aquarius season now, so it's extra strong. Pluto just moved into Aquarius in this 250-year cycle, January 20th. And then every year from January 20th until February 20th, we are in the Aquarius cycle where the sun is going through Aquarius. It's shining a light on those areas where we want change to be fitting for who we are, right? We had Mercury just move in there, so the planet of the mind. We've been thinking about the changes that we do what we want to see changing in our lives. And so this week, we have Mars, the planet of passion and movement and energy. And we also have Venus, the planet of love and money and beauty and harmony and balance, moving into Aquarius as well, too. Now, Venus is going to move into Aquarius every year, right? But Mars has not been there for two years. And I think it's interesting timing that as it moves into Mars this week on Tuesday, the 13th, this also is the day that it aligns with that Pluto that's in there, that Pluto that's asking us to radically change things in our life, right? So when you have the planet of getting things going, aligning with the planet of transformation, I feel that this is a week where we're really ready to not only make those changes, we're fully aware of what we need to do. We have the energy behind us to get it going, we have to have it get it going. Now, it's going to be a little bit different for every sign. And I made some videos at the beginning of the month that really talk about where exactly this push for change is going to be happening for you. So I have a link below that has um, a link to that playlist with all the different ones. Uh, just watch your sign there. Be sure to watch your Venus or your Mars sign as well, too, because that's going to talk about how it's affecting your love life, Venus, or Mars as well, too, how you're going to be asserting yourself in these things. Now, with all of us, though, one of the things when Mars and Pluto align, this happens once every two years. And so the last time this happened, Pluto uh, was not in Aquarius. Pluto was still wrapping up its its uh, multi-year uh, transit of Capricorn, where it was really focused on coming up with plans. It was motivating us 
to kind of look at the foundations that are around us and where they aren't really working, right? But now Mars and Pluto aligning in Aquarius is like, let's push for this change, right? I'm ready for some freedom. I'm whatever that might be, whether it's relationship or what have you, maybe it's work, maybe it's just cycles that you're finding yourself in where you're keeping yourself stuck, right? No matter what it is, no matter what it is, this energy this week is really giving you that push to make some change, right? Absolutely. So not only do we have that, at the end of the week, we have Venus moving into Aquarius as well, too. That gives us that push for change and new energy in relationship. Because remember, Venus is the planet of love and money. So there's going to be a little bit of push for on the other side, not just relationship, because we're talking about Valentine's Day. But there is also that push for that financial freedom, right? Because Venus deals with that as well. So if this is something this week where you're really feeling motivated to change your financial situation, change, right? That's definitely part of that Pluto going through Aquarius. That motivation comes from Mars. If you're feeling that, having that combination with Venus moving into Aquarius as well, while we're still in this Aquarius season, it's wonderful to put our thoughts on that, right? What is it that you want to change? How do you want to see that financial freedom come through? This is a great week for having that come to light. And there's also that energy behind us where if you're really um, strong enough to make your feet move, right? Where it's not just recognizing what needs to be done. If you have that motivation and the courage to get your feet moving, that's Mars, right? Get our feet moving in that direction. The universe is really behind you. The universe is really behind you. So especially if this is something, because I think it's a week where the energies that I'm seeing, and of course, because it is Valentine's Day, maybe there's that push, right? to make changes in existing relationship. Maybe there's that push to find that person too out there. If you're single, this is the type of energy that is aligning to bring that soulmate energy. Remember I said the whole thing is Aquarius, right? It's about what is true to your authentic self. If you've gone through so much in the past few years of learning what works for you in relationship and what doesn't, Maybe you're finding those cycles of the types of people that you find again and again and the lessons that have learned through that and you're ready to break free of that. That's exactly what Uranus and Aquarius are all about. And so if you want to do that, the energy this week is saying the right type of person is out there and Pluto has a way of magnetically attracting to us what we send out. So if you're sending out the bad signal that you're ready for real, true, authentic love, somebody that's going to be accepting and loving of who you are, then that is exactly the energy that's happening now in ways that it hasn't for a number of years, right? This is one, whoops, sorry, my cat knocked over my, my camera there. It's a wonderful time and it's a wonderful energy, right? This is where we are focusing on that shift and that change. Now, there's always a shadow side, right? There's always a shadow side in, in, in astrology. And so Mars has a way. It's very courageous. It likes to get its feet moving and get things done. But on, all right, I'm going to move the soda out of the way. My cat's going to knock it over. It likes to get things done, right? Absolutely. But it can be a little self focused in that area as well too. This is something where it's saying, I am so focused on what I need to do. I'm not really thinking about it, the needs of other people around me. So just make sure that if that is the situation this week, if you're feeling that push and change, just make sure that you vocalize that with the other person that you're with, right? Make sure you're vocalizing those things, especially if it's something where you've bottled it up for so long, it may come out a little bit stronger than you expected with that Pluto energy behind it. Now, also keep in mind too, that if you are feeling triggered, right, there are themes that come on the shadow side of Pluto as well too that are, um, that are detrimental for us. So just be sure to look out for that as well too. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week.